here's the actual factual that the data that you were seeing from Wikipedia and like everybody I keep on telling everybody watch that video and basically I'll, I'll try to take it to the video and let's go show you some shots from space so you use a CME light here and you got great telescopes here from these all these Soho shots here from Sechi okay let's take you to some telescope hey use anybody's program I'm not advertised for any programs basically you get in yourself into mercury and on the 11th you're going to be able to see the mercury and even right now mercury's close to the sun and basically remember mercury's just a moon okay as you can see here it's just another moon okay if you study mercury you can basically study uh, the moon here okay so actual factual mercury and moon pretty much the same damn thing uh we're going to figure out the magnetism on that i'm not into that right now but when you look and you get a view here you'll be end up being if you look around on the 11th you're going to get a triangulation of being able to see mercury with nothing other than the sun and what's out in space now uh i don't know how to zoom out here real fast these controls are a pain in the ass but there you got neptune and basically what we're looking at is the back door we're getting a good view and then i believe that's going to be uranus there okay this i've been showing you is you could see that and look at that but there i was going to it takes time to get this thing squared up when you get up and you go ahead and look at any software and get a, a eye look at vega and go look at the 11th on i think h uh what i was showing you h1 i go over to sechi basically h1 a was that the one no you go to sechi uh h12a or h12b no it's h1b that's what it is you're going to go to h1b and you'll be able to freeze because it's going to be the back side of a and that's the other satellite on the other side of the sun and you'll be able to see uh vega and you can also probably see it off of a and zoom in on it uh sechi a which would be basically this or B possibly also anyway look for Vega get yourself squared away in Vega and also get yourself squared away in and this is just like looking at the telescope over in Hawaii because this is what this is this is from a catalog and what this is is basically where Earth's at another Earth which is bigger than Earth itself and what you're gonna end up seeing is the actual factual that more than likely it's this right here the magnetical the one with that you see the magnetical so you get a magnetical of it, and more than likely that is the other Earth right there. It's basically E2, but they call it D4 because there's two other planets that they consider that they can be habitable. And I believe it would be uh, uh, Mars and Venus. Uh, and then basically I think that the, the secretive hideout will always be in the future when... Uh, the land rush in space is on is basically Titan in Saturn. Uh, but this is close and basically the best thing to be the second Earth is right there. And you see the magnetical line on it. And the actual factual that's basically this is the area of 40307. Okay, that's a very easy number to remember. 40307. HD 40307, okay? I'll give a little bit something people can do sleuth work and then communicate with me is the idea this is more than likely what caused World War II. Okay, everybody believe, and it is the fact that the one uh, prince got or the one uh, political and basically uh, aristocratic person that got shot is pretty much been killed. I think it was a Ferdinand or whatever. Uh, pretty much was the reason for, but basically, probably information that came from this observatory is more than likely what. Uh, cause World War II, and with the space race is still on to this day. So it's always about space. It's always about uh, land rush, and basically the space race is on like crazy. And once again, we are here at the designated area for now. Basically, these are stars, okay? And you're gonna get used to this. This is 403. And a good signature is what we have here, and also what we have there in your views, being able to know where you're at whenever you up 
looking around of what they give you. And this is out of a telescope. This is out of the, the, the Canadian French telescope over in Hawaii. These are all cataloged. Okay. So basically you get used to these views and you will know that the idea that there is a planet there. They just have to zoom in a hell of a bunch to get it. So there you go. There is pretty much the second Earth right there. And it's larger than... Uh, and basically, I'll take you to the video that you need to go back. And basically, I'm just giving you a field of the telescope view that's out there. And as you can see, more planets, or at least no matter what. Because that should be a star there. And there's planets up around that star. And then we have planets because they're not stars. As you see, they don't have the four. So there's a star there. There's these planets here. And then there's these planets here safe back from it. Okay. These are planets more than likely because they're not stars because they don't have this star signature. Which everything that has a star signature is there's a sun. There's a star out there. Okay. Smaller than the sun. But it's out there. And then you have these planetary objects that are out there. So the thing is, this thing was found more than likely back in 1930. Okay. So it's a constant run around and keep the secret. And as you see here, basically a star dying out and making itself a planet. So this thing is more than likely hot and still somewhat of a star. So a dwarf planet somewhat pretty much the best thing to conclude that what the planet of the earth is there the second earth is more than likely that or right there so because of the magnetism you can see the magnetical okay and then if we were able to zoom in on this over here more than likely this would probably that either be a uh, remnant of that Sun and there's two but that's the sun and it's dying out. So, and there are rotational periods too. But you basically go watch this video. Now, Big Brother's messing with me because every I'll go to, in the future and show you a video that I don't have these type of, uh, I don't know who has this, but when they're messing with me, I have this kind of control on my uh, YouTube account. So basically this isn't it. Something, something to want to spy on me. Something. Private dick organization, something. Let me get into my video manager here and I'll show you my video. Well, there's lots of stuff out in space, folks, because I've got found something that's between 3 and 4 IU that basically they found back in 1930. So you guys study that telescope I showed you and then go from there. I got great information on the eclipse because basically I got great footage that you can stop and look at and everything like that. And then you can actually see right here that we have an asteroid belt that's between us and the sun. But basically, there's tinier stars in the sun, between us and the sun, very small, and around a planet, planets, possibly. So anyway, they are even mystified by it, trying to get a view at it, because the sun always uh, makes it hard to view it. Uh, irrefutable here, that you want to watch that one. And I believe that that's the one... No, here, this is the one you want to watch. Big E, not little E, okay? That's basically what I put in there, and then basically it's all the buzz right now because everybody's talking about it. Now, I'm not a disinformation. I'm giving you actual information that plenty of powers to be are screwing up the uh, distance of where it's at and so forth and so on and how to find it and so forth. And I just showed you through a telescope a view of it. So they're all cataloged and it's all real stuff. Uh, that's why you see in here, it's a fictitious video of uh propagation of it it's just basically what it is it's they're actually showing you the plot of the objects in space and they put fictitious on it so it keeps it kind of an uh underneath an umbrella of really knowing if it's there or not the stuff's actually there i just showed you the shots but i'll go back to it right now remember great telescopes in space especially right now with all the cme action coming off the sun and like i say the 11th is awesome you can get some great views on the 11th on the a and b uh h1a H1A2, just about everything because the sun is lighting up space so much that you can see huge objects. And that's why they're saying that there's lots of dark objects in space, that BBC report, because the idea that they're wanting to unfreak people out, that there's stuff out there. There's tons of stuff they don't want us to know about. This is catalog looking right out of a telescope.
and all this stuff's out there. So remember HD 40307. Okay. That's the area, and there's places to view it. And basically, private astronomers uh, and or professional astronomers uh, get a hold of me with the info that you got. And like I'm in my talk room, want who's talking there and talking about this stuff because you absolutely can see that right there. And I'm going to zoom in on that. That's basically a dying star there. And this basically shows you exact signature of being our second Earth, basically right there, another planet. And basically that's what they're talking about. And it's very accredited. Otherwise, that accredited uh, institute will be discredited. And they're not going to be discredited because they are honest. Now, see, the other earthly object over to the left is better because these objects would be just like Mars, too close to the sun. Because they'd get CME'd and stuff like that, especially if this went supernova or imploded or anything like that. But the idea, this would end up being a planet someday also. So then more than likely, these might end up being moons or planets or just three. But they're out there. And let's go ahead and zoom in. And there we are zoomed in. And this is actual from what has been pulled up from the telescope. And as you can see, they have to plot their shots together, observations together. So this is all cataloged. And there you go. And like I said, no matter what, uh, there really is no shadows here. These are objects. And even if it was a shadow, that uh, and basically you know it's not because they put off the same size shadow. Any object out there will put off the same size shadow as the size of the object. Okay. So if there's any shot shadow out here anywhere that you get able to get, if you ever get a Soho or a, um, oh, a, and basically they try to, I just, I have not been allowed and I'd love to look through the Hubble telescope. So Hubble telescopes, yes, possibly. Uh, there's a lot of telescopes out in space I'd like to take a look out through. But anyway, this is catalog. This is there. Remember HD 403. 07 and basically we go up over here and we'll get the magnetical and we'll see the third earth or the second earth apologize about that because basically but catalog wise they always have been trying to think that and there it is the magnetical lines so and they've always been trying to uh mars 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 is a joke uh, too far away uh the atmosphere ain't good enough the atmosphere is good on this should be hopefully we would think from what they've been able to research and see. So there's your magnetical line. And then we basically go back over here and we'll be able to see that sun also. Let me, uh, and actually, did I just, no, we'll right back over, hang on. So I still got a bunch of truthful stuff to show you about the moon too in future videos. And I'm gonna start getting on that, I guess. Uh, we'll look at what uh, they've been showing you. And I think I was knocked in at, 900 on this so you can see this well, let me go back into there so look around at this at 400 and as you can see you have these alignments here through the telescope shot so basically awesome I want to thank the Canadian French telescope over there and what's great about it is there's all kinds of people who have contracts to go over there and look at these objects over there so that's what you want to look at is anything to do with HD 40307 and get a look at up there of what's up around the second known earth which is larger than earth okay and more than likely there's probably other earths there since uh all these are seen and you can see right here through the telescope and let's go up to that dwarf star and there's another star that's dying out right there as you see too the signature dying out and see if what it now that now the hunt is on and uh and electrician, electrical, electrical physicists will be able to, more than likely, be able to put electrical magnification to a planet, to a nearby star if they wanted to. So basically, land rush in space is on like crazy. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom this in. I'll just do it real fast. Boom. We'll get a zoom. We're just doing off the regular zoom. Like I say, the other zoom thing is a good way to go. And there we are. So all this stuff's out there. Watch the fictitious video. Basically what it is is artist rendition. Forget artist rendition. We're right down here looking through the barrel of the telescope. This stuff's out there. There's tons of stuff in space. Hideness. We need the space race for the economy. 
Uh, land rush is on, and there's the magnetical 